Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I am your host, Bastion. This is Nintendo News. Let's get to that news. Okay, so um, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, I think that's the name of the game. Um, when this game was first announced, I was like, really, Nintendo? You're going to take a mini game from Super Mario World? As fun as that mini game is, and take just that and build a whole full-size retail game out of that, that seems a little... But, um, I, I was not terribly impressed, and I didn't even bother playing Captain Toad Treasure Trackers at E3, or did I? If I did, it didn't make much of an impression on me, because, I mean, I've already played it, right? We've all played it in Super Mario 3D World, but, um, learned some interesting origin about it, which is that originally it had nothing to do with Super Mario 3D World. Originally, it was being developed as its own separate prototype game thing, and then... And it had nothing to do with Mario, nothing to do with Toad, uh, and originally, <laughs> I think I think the order of events is originally it did have Mario in it, uh, and then um, they were like, well, but Mario can jump, so that's not really going to work very well, because um, just the original concept of it was this like diorama thing, where you know you move very simply throughout this thing that's kind of like a game board, like an old-school board game. Um, and, but Mario can jump, so that made it progressively get taller and taller and taller. So like, okay, not Mario. So then they plopped Link in there and thought, this could be an interesting concept for a new type of Zelda game. And uh, Mr. Miyamoto was like, nah. So then they were like, okay, Toad then. Let's plop Captain Toad in there, so... That's how that came to exist. And speaking of Toads, we learned a new piece of information from Nintendo, specifically people working on the Captain Toad Treasure Trackers game. So I don't know if this is Miyamoto gospel. It does not sound like something that Mr. Miyamoto himself would have invented. I mean, maybe he would have. I don't know. We'll find out eventually. <laughs> but what's making the rounds on the internet is that these producers from the Captain Toad Treasure Trackers have said that uh, Toads are neither male nor female. They're genderless. And uh, so Toadette, for instance, is just a genderless Toad that chooses to dress female. And, and that Toad and Toadette, Captain Toad and Toadette, are, um, are adventure-seeking, treasure-seeking pals. And there's nothing romantic between them and their genders. So now we know that I guess the Mushroom Kingdom is populated by genderless asexual creatures that are kind of mushroom-like. And that, that is something that they address. The interviewer was like, well, what's this thing about them looking like mushrooms? And they were like, oh, no, no, we can't really... We, that's a mystery as yet to be solved, or something like that. So, something tells me that these uh, producers behind Captain Toad Treasure Trackers are not... I don't remember their names, for instance. They're not one of the major producers at Nintendo. So, something tells me they're kind of making this stuff up, and that eventually maybe Mr. Miyamoto will say, Uh, no, Toad is definitely male. <laughs> I mean, we have seen very masculine-looking Toad creatures. Like, one would assume that the various kings of the Mushroom Kingdom as depicted in Super Mario Bros. 3, they're all very masculine looking, so... And then Princess Toadstool, what's her deal? Is she also a genderless toad, but very tall? More mysteries than answers. But anyways, that is it for this episode of Nintendo News. See you guys tomorrow for more news. Bye, guys!